In this video, we will show you how to install your crankshaft position sensor. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is make your way safely underneath the front of the vehicle, along the passenger side of the oil pan. In this area, you're going to find that you have a plastic cover covering the area. On the front and on the back, you'll find an 8mm headed bolt holding it in place. Remove both bolts and the cover. With that out of the way, we have a nice clear view of our crankshaft position sensor. This has two bolts holding it in place. It also has one electrical wire harness making its way to the back side. We'll start by removing each of our 8mm headed bolts. Inspect your hardware as you remove it, replace it as necessary. Remove the sensor from the engine, continue on to your electrical connector. Now we can move along to disconnecting our electrical connector. On ours, we can see that it does have one wire tie, holding the wiring in place. I'll trim that wire tie. Once you have that off of there, continue on to squeezing on the little squeeze tab in the center. While you're squeezing that, you should be able to separate the sensor from the wiring. Once you have it disconnected, take a peek inside of the wiring harness. Make sure you don't see any funny colors. If you do, it's corrosion and that would need to be dealt with. This looks fine. And there's our sensor. Okay friends, let's get ready to install our new crank position sensor. Take the sensor and reconnect your wiring. Listen for a click, give it a tug to make sure it's completely secured. After that, we're going to continue on by resecuring the wiring to the electrical connector. Slide a wire tie through there, wrap it around the wiring, make sure it's nice and tight. Trim off the excess. Continue on to your two mounting bolts. When you put the sensor in position, you'll notice that the slots are oblonged. As you put in the bolts, make sure you take the sensor and slide it down as much as possible before you snug the bolts. Once they're snug, torque them to 80 inch pounds. Take your shield and put it back in position. Start in both of the bolts and snug them up. Okay friends, we've got the car back together. Slide out from underneath it, start up the vehicle, make sure you don't have a check engine light and then take it for a road test. Aside from that, thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.